So welcome we are today. We are going to take the solution to the BEC 2023 integrated science and we are starting with the section B. So the first diagram you can see here is the female reproductive system and then the male reproductive system. So let's start right away with the questions below them. So with the I, you are told to name each of the parts labeled I, 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 then, then, I, then, I, I, then, I, I. So if you don't follow instructions here, you would just move and then just label everything. But that's not the case. You are just asked to label just some parts. So looking here, we have our eye to be the womb or uterus, the eye eye to be the fallopian tube, then the vein. The vein to be the ovary, the vein eye to be the vas deferens, and then your vein eye eye to be your penis, and the vein eye I, I to be your testis, that's the testis. Then for the parts that were not told to label, functions were asked. The I, I is more of like um, a muzzle. Finding the name, I saw something like myometrium, and which has something to do with muzzles. The I even receives the penis, which is the vagina, during um, sexual intercourse. And it also has other functions as well, passage of fetal, passage of fetus and then passage of menstrual fluid. Well, next, you were asked to name the labeled part for each of the processes, fertilization. And for fertilization, you have to scroll down, and that's the fallopian tube. The sperm production is the testis, and then the ovulation is the ovary. So when answering, you label as has been prescribed in the marking scheme so that the one marking has it easier and then gives you the marks you deserve. So continuing, you were asked for common infectious diseases that affect both the male and female reproductive system. Yeah, here's syphilis, herpes, cancroid, chlamydia, gonorrhea, candidiasis or white or trash. So there are farm tools here, common farm tools here, and you're asked to label them. So the first one is a mattock, the next one is a peg, the next one is a hand fork. So you are asked to give the common name for each of them and we've already done that. The A, the B and the C. Please let's give a common name for the devices illustrated. I, name each A, B, C labeled. So the A is common farm tools or farm implements. They are found in a farm. So take notes very well. There's a common name for all the devices, for the devices illustrated, so the group name for them. Then the II had to do with individual name. Then the II is asking for the use of each of them. So one thing you should know about answering of questions like this is you use the alphabets that were used to identify them, not the actual name of the tools. So A, which is a matok, the use is given B. which is a peg the use is giving. So don't worry yourself writing the name again. Just use the identification um, alphabets. Alphabet that we used to identify them. The next one, it says what states to effect of the use of C. The U effect simply means, you know, what will happen, what's the result. You know, most students usually think that effect means the negative result, but effect could also be positive. Then stay two ways of prolonging the usefulness of the 2A, which is the mattock. So how can we use it in a way that it will have a longer shelf life? So you can see them for yourself. Yes, right here. So let's move on to C. We are being asked to draw the symbols for a resistor. And this is a resistor. A PN junction diode. So I think there's a little issue with my result over here. So Looking here, your gamma is your cell. So this is actually the cell. And your beta, which is the PN junction diode, this is the PN junction diode. Then the last one here, which I'm missing the name, which is light emitting diode, this is light emitting diode. So let's take it again. This is your resistor. This is your cell. 
this is your PN junction diode and then this is your LED so just adding my labeling and let's move on to the next question so it says what well, uses symbols drawn to, together with a switch to draw a circuit diagram to demonstrate forward biasing forward biasing is that is the positive part of the cell facing the positive part of the um, PN junction diode, the P part, and then negative part, this is the negative. So the shorter part of the cell is the negative, and then the taller part of the, when you are drawing the symbol for the cell is the positive. So what you can see here, what you can see here shows the PN junction, the forward biasing, that's what you can see here. So this side is the positive, facing the positive part of the cell, and this side is the negative, facing the negative side of the cell. Take note of basic electronics. It's a topic that always comes. Looking at the III, it says that state the effect of the resistor on the PN junction diode and the light emitting diode when the circuit is closed. So what's the effect of the resistor? So resistor, as the name implies, limits the current in the circuit and thereby protects the diode and LED from burning off. So you have to look at the question well and then answer as asked or instructed. It says the effect of the resistor on the PN junction diode and the light emitting diode. So the light emitting diode was addressed then the diode was also addressed. So if you just talk about the function of the resistor you might not get a full mark. So just answer based on the question you were asked. So there's still more to answer. 10 gram of iodated salt was added to RTML of water and the mixture was there thoroughly. Vegetable oil was added to a quantity of water in a corked flask and shaken vigorously and allowed to stand for some time. A few grams of grinded charcoal was added to the water in a beaker and stirred vigorously and allowed to stand. Six was to be observed in I, 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 and I, I, I. So, from what you have here, in the, that's the indulgence. This is what the iodated salt will be dissolved completely. The oil will suspend on top. Then the, then the charcoal does not dissolve. So here, everything here is just looking at separation of mixtures. But when you don't take your time to think of it critically, you will be lost. Because at a point I was lost thinking, where is this going to? I just the aim for the, suggest an aim for the experiment. Wow. This is a very unusual way of performing an experiment where, you know, everything was independent every um, activity was independent of the other so to demonstrate the method of separation of mixtures to determine homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture will be formed to repair a solution so each of each activity was a preparation of a certain solution so in the next part you are asked to give one difference between experiment i and an experiment i i i i i sorry so the mixture is homogeneous, the mixture is heterogeneous. The I demonstrated dissolving. So you had you had a soluble solute in its corresponding solvent. So you are going to have a homogeneous mixture definitely. Then the I, 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 which had to do with having charcoal in water. Charcoal is insoluble in water. So you form a heterogeneous mixture. The method used to separate um, the vegetable oil being added to the water the use of the separation funnel or the separating funnel so we move to the section B so electrical energy I always mention if you're following this channel is a topic I always mention you should always expect it in the WIAC exam so what's the importance of a fuse in an electrical appliance and the answer is here to protect the equipment state two household appliances that use or have a fuse so you have most of them, most electrical appliances you can think of at home. What's teenage pregnancy? Okay, so it says a girl under 20 years becoming pregnant. As simple as that. So anyhow you paraphrase it. Once you have the idea, you are communicating this idea, you are going to get your two marks. Still two causes of teenage pregnancy. So you have them here. Repeat three precautions against hazard. So precautions against hazard. So anything that can cause danger, what are you going to do to prevent that danger? 
wearing protective clothes, you know, routine maintenance, developing the right skills, maintaining hazard signs, carrying chemicals approved in approved containers, washing hand after handling unsafe material and so on. Practices that destroy water bodies, deforestation, bush burning. So what is anaerobic respiration? You have your answer here. Breakdown of food substances. So it's release energy, water and carbon dioxide as byproduct. The main difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration, you have it here. The aerobic oxygen is involved, the anaerobic no oxygen is involved. Then you have another question on electrical energy, which I always talk about. Electrical energy. You've seen it time and time again, even in the practicals. So is the work done in carrying or moving unit charge from one point of a conductor to another? So they went on to ask for the current, which has the unit in ampere. The thing calls IR, you make IR the subject, input your um, input the figures and then get your answer. So without units, half is going to be deducted from your mark. And it's amazing how marks are deducted. This you are looking at here is the markings in the actual marking scheme. Okay, so the next question has to do with swollen shoots and we are asked which crop is affected by swollen shoots and it's cocoa. And the next question asks for the causative organism, which is a virus the mode of spread by the millibag. The next has to do with ways of preventing the spread. These are the ways the spread is prevented. So the next question has to do with chemical elements and this is also a power topic I always mention. I always stress on topic like this. You have been giving these symbols X and Y. So with the X, you have three here, which I'm thinking is lithium, and the nine here, looking at fluorine. So you are asked to see the electron configuration for Y, and Y is fluorine. So I don't think how they've written it is the best way to write it. It is 2, 7. When you write this, I believe you'll be penalized. It's not the right way. Okay, so just see the possible ion that could be formed on X and is more stable. So X, which is, which as I mentioned is lithium, is Li, not L. So it's have a positive charge because it has one electron on the outermost shell. It's likely to lose, it. it's going to be lost to Li plus. Plus as a superscript. So what is neutralization reaction? When you see neutralization reaction, you're thinking of acid and base reacting to form salt and water. State three physical properties of soil the texture, structure, color, porosity, and so on. So, the next question has to do with calculation. And one thing you can do for yourself in the BEC is to just get acquainted with all the calculation topics because you would always have one of them either in the objectives or section B. What is power? The rate at which work is done, and calculation of work over here and over here the work type of work which is the energy is the potential energy mass times gravity times height from the question you have 50 kilogram here your meters 10 meters and your time in seconds all your units are right so there's no need to do any conversion just first of all calculate your work once you have your work you are good to go you input your time and you have your 166.7 watt you're going to be deducted max if you don't put the units there Okay, so we move to the next page of the question. So, it's question five. State three ways in which mulching restores soil resources. It's another perfect way of seeing importance of mulching. So, you need to get used to how work now frames questions. Just to test your understanding and your ability to think. So, as you can see, the importance of mulching checks erosion adds organic matter to the soil, conserves nutrients, and the rest. So the next, that's the B part, asks for the constant of ammonia gas. So we have nitrogen and oxygen. And also, write a balanced equation. It should be balanced. It should be balanced, right? So the next question is asking us to draw a food web. And this food web, you've actually been told what to do specifically. 
So you should know that anywhere the arrow is pointing is a transfer of energy. So in the first question, the man feeds on grass cutter. So you can see that is it, man is feeding on grass cutter. So you can see the direction of my pen. Then two feet on grasshopper. It means that transfer of energy from the grasshopper to the toad. So you can see it like that. So I'll just keep reading. Snake feet on toad, goat feet on grass, man feet on hawk, grasshopper feet on grass, hawk feet on snake, then grass cutter feet on grass. So the next question is asking what's a galaxy? A galaxy is a group of stars. So the next question is the relationship between stars and galaxies. In other words, the difference. You need to get used to how questions can be framed so you don't miss a question you already have an answer to. And explain the term galaxy. Explain the term Milky Way. So Milky Way. So it's the galaxy that contains the solar system and the Earth. So we go to the last question, which is question six. Question 6 is asking for effects of soil erosion on the growth of crop plants. Definitely has negative effects on the growth of plants. Then the next question is asking for one method used to control soil erosion. You have a chunk of them here. The next question is asking for name to science related business. So science related businesses, blacksmithing, dairy processing, soap making, salt production, kinky production, fish smoking, all these are science related businesses. Then the principles that align these science related businesses, principles that underline them. So we have shrinking or bonding or malleability for blacksmithing, dairy processing, we have fermentation, soap making, we have saponification, so salt production, we have evaporation, kinky production, we have fermentation, then biogas production, we have decomposition, and then fish smoking, we have dehydration or drying. So the seed part is explain how the Anopheles mosquito transmits malaria to humans. So it binds the infected person and takes in the blood. The parasite grows and matures in the mosquito's gut. When a mosquito bites another person, When a mosquito bites another person, it releases the parasite into the victim. The next one is one chemical way of controlling mosquitoes and the use of insecticide spraying, using of treated nets, they all have chemicals in them. So the last part of question 6 is asking for fundamental units. These are the fundamental units and these are the quantities. So take note of the difference when you ask for units, when you ask for quantities, you know how to state them rightly so you don't lose marks sometimes you know answers and then you lose them the image by my channel name to see more videos which i make